Hi, I'm Dala, and today I have some amazing news. Does anyone remember the bid loaner battery? I had it in the shop like a year ago, and we made a few videos on it where we first revived it and uh, hooked it up to a Fronius Gen 24, and then we sniffed some communication on it. Well, this has culminated into something quite awesome. We have cracked the communication. That's right, we now know exactly what these Modbus registers means. And this in turn leads to this battery being now obsolete. This overpriced piece of a bid battery uh, that you usually buy for like almost 10,000 euros and get a measly 10 kilowatt hours. That's right, this one is now obsolete. Now we can develop our own plug and play batteries using scrapped EV packs. But hold on a second. Why? Didn't you just show us how to integrate used leaf batteries um, with an inverter? And yeah, I did. But this requires significant effort. I mean, the custom battery that I did, it took like, I think it was like three weeks in total to get it up and running. And it was like super complicated. Had to disassemble the EV pack, break it down into modules. Uh, this in turn was quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Then you have to reconfigure the cells to the new voltage range, add a new BMS. Uh, you have to purchase a specific inverter that works with this, etc. And also hook everything together. And this takes a lot of effort. But now we can do something much better. And that is to just plug in an EV battery directly into a Fronius Gen 24 inverter. And just add a communication converter. That means that we can use the high voltage 400 volt battery directly as is with a Fronius inverter without anything. And this is super awesome. And another why is the price. Like I mentioned, the bid battery, I consider it now obsolete because it costs a lot of money. I think it's almost 9000 euros now and you only get 11 kilowatt hours. Well, with the Model 3 battery, you get uh, 55 kilowatt hours and just sh shy above 5000 euros. And when you put it into this uh, euro per kilowatt hour, it really shows how cheaper it is to use a uh, scrapped EV pack compared to buying these brand batteries. And I have some examples here. Uh, here we have uh, two Fronius inverters hooked up to a Tesla battery. And there's also a computer here running some uh, Modbus servers. Uh, I think it was running on a Raspberry Pi. We also have some other users here running a uh, bid emulator. This is some Arduino running a Simp BMS. Here we also see a Tesla pack. And we have even more examples of people using the Fronius Gen 24 with uh, custom batteries over on the Dallas EV Repair Discord server. So I suggest checking that out if you're interested. And you probably also guessed what's next for me here. And that is to connect a Leaf battery directly to this Fronius Gen 24. And I really want to show you how much easier it is to just use an EV battery as is directly with a hybrid inverter compared to just building it your own to make it suitable. So stay tuned for that. Some really cool, cool development. And if you're interested in joining right away with your own battery pack, I suggest checking out the Dallas Discord server over at the Patreon and yeah, just join along for the ride otherwise. I'll see you in an upcoming video related to the leaf integration. Well, talk to you soon. Bye.